guys, welcome back. So today I'm filming a video about my favorite cream face products. And, but all of these products are from the drugstore, they're affordable, but I really love them. I've tried several different cream bronzers, cream blushes, and these ones I find are the best. They really hold on, they don't slip and slide throughout the day. Um, I think that cream products are really best for mature skin or dry skin, but I don't think that if you have oily skin that you need to be afraid to use them. I think that these products especially wear really well and could wear really well for somebody who has oily skin. Um, as you'll see, I kind of set this area with powder and still go under my eyes, and but I don't have to set the rest of my face, and I find that these really stay throughout the day. Of course, I'm working long hours, and I know a lot of you can relate, so I wanted to share these products in case you're more interested in cream products versus powder. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below anything else that you guys want to see, any video ideas. And um, yeah, so let's get started. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm going to go in with my sunscreen, of course. The CeraVe is my favorite, and I plan on doing like my favorite skincare soon. Um, it actually got really cold here in Florida last night, but even though it's cold, you still need your sunscreen. All right, so that's always my first step. And then I'm actually kind of trying out this product. This is the Milani Soft Focus Glow. And I'll just put this on the perimeter of my face, especially during, well, really any time, summer, spring, fall, it doesn't matter. I really like to be a little bit more glowy. And I like the sheen that this gives my skin. And I just focus it on the perimeter, like I said. Um, I don't wanna focus it here because I do tend to get oily sometimes in that area. And then this product is something that I have been trying out and I don't know how much of a difference it makes in my pores and pore filling. I do have bigger pores, especially here. Um, it's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So I keep on trying it. So I just get a little bit on my finger and really focus it in this area. I'm kind of pressing it in. And then I'll take a little bit there, and a little bit on my chin. All right, let's get started with the foundation. I need to cover up this face. Um, of course, my favorite cream liquid product of all time. You guys know, oh, it's so good. It's the L'Oreal um, Infallible 24 Fresh Wear Foundation. Mine's the shade 425 Linen. Do about a pump and a half and then let me find my beauty sponge okay harley escaped with my sponge oh all right so just start by pressing in tap 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 i just think that this makes your skin look so healthy um it doesn't look overly makeup-y in my opinion but gives you really nice coverage. Um, I do have some freckles and um, like, you know, I have this mole. I have had it since I was little. I've actually had it removed um, and it just keeps coming back. So she's here to stay. I used to be really self-conscious about it and now I learned to actually appreciate it and so we'll keep her I don't worry too much about like my eyelids and things like that because we're gonna put some concealer on those bad boys okay concealer the flower beauty light illusion concealer love her
And I prefer to use a damp sponge. This is the Real Techniques sponge. Um, I remember when the Beauty Blenders first came out and I went and bought one. And my best friend used it and she swore by it. And I bought it and I used it and I was like, this is awful. Why would anybody apply their makeup with this? But I found that instead of just leaving it wet, like so obviously you run it under the water and um, squeeze it out, that's not enough. <laughs> if you squeeze it out and then also put it in like a little washcloth and squeeze it, it gets it the perfect amount of dampness. Um, I just find that that is the consistency that I like it to be and it works miracles. All right, so now for the actual reason why you guys are here, my favorite cream face products. Um, and I don't do this every day. I do it when I'm taking pictures or um, days that I just kind of want to look dewy and fresh and I have the time. Um, usually I go in with powders or things like that when I'm just getting ready in the mornings for work or whatever. Um, but so let me tell you what it is. This is the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer. It's the organic wear and it has jojoba oil in it. Mine's a little dirty, just ignore that. This is the shade, um, I don't know what shade this is. Oh, well, I'll put it down in the description box. And I like to just go in with a little line. And what I like about this, I've tried other ones from the drugstore. And I find that they're really stiff and dry and they don't blend very well. So I love this one. It just blends so effortlessly. This is the Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush. It's just a nice domed brush that's a little bit dense, but not too dense. Um, and then it's tapered on one side. So I like this for blending this out. You see how quickly that just blends right into the skin. And I'm using circular motions. This isn't necessarily a contour shade. We're just bronzing up the skin. And so when I first put it on, I was like, oh no, I don't know how this is gonna work out. But oh, I think this, especially in the summertime, oh, it's just beautiful. And if you think that something is too much, you just take your beauty blender and blend it out. But I just love the look that this gives my skin. It's healthy and sun-kissed and I don't take any extra and run it under the jawline. See, nice and bronzed. All right, and then blush. And I wait to set my under eyes until after I'm done with this. This blush is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm. I think this is the cutest packaging. Comes with a little twisty top, and then this is the applicator. I just think it's so cool. This shade is in Pinched, and I just squeeze a little bit out on my hand, and then blend it out with my finger. So this is the shade. It's a little bit uh, peachy, pink. It's just beautiful. Then I take the other side of my beauty blender and just tap it in. Kind of tap it around my hand so that it deposits the color evenly onto the sponge. Then we just go in and tap it in. I just think that that creates the most beautiful flush, beautiful in the summertime, beautiful in the wintertime. Um, like I've said, cream products are really, they can be used by anybody. I don't think that you need to be scared of cream products. 
Um, if you go in with them, if you have more oily skin, you can just um, set them with powder and then I think that will really actually lock in the makeup and so you'll find that your blush and your bronzer aren't fading throughout the day. But especially cream products, I'm going in with a little bit more. Um, cream products on more mature skin or drier skin can just be beautiful. All right, so I went ham with the blush, don't worry. Blush is the first thing to fade, so we can just go in with the other side of our beauty blender and just kind of even everything out. But it just creates the most beautiful sheen. And then we're ready to set our under eyes. I creased, I mean, I have little creases under my eyes, little fine lines. Um, my non material daughter has creases under her eyes. So it'll feel like just because you have little creases that that means you have wrinkles or that you need to do any work or feel like you about it at all. I always have to set my under eyes. And then I go in and just set this area so that it doesn't move throughout the day, but we're not disturbing the cream products. And like I said, if you have oily skin, you can go in and um, more heavily set, but I'm not gonna do that today. Now, I do like to go in with just a hint more of my powder bronzer. I just, I like the way that that looks. Just bronze everything up, make sure that that really stays, but I don't tend to mess with the blush. All right, and now for the final step is highlight. I really like the Essence Strobing Highlight. Um, I picked this up at CVS. This is the shade 10, Light Up Your Life. And it just comes in this sort of packaging. I've tried other ones from the drugstore and I just really like this one. I, it's a cream to powder effect, so it doesn't stay kind of dewy or damp. I, I don't know, I don't know what the right word is but it, you can't feel it throughout the day. It also doesn't have any shimmer. Um, I've tried some of the ColourPop ones and then I tried a Wet n Wild one and they just have these little flecks of shimmer and I, I don't prefer that. This is what it comes out to look like. It's just beautiful. And I, you can take your finger and rub it on your hand or actually most of the time I just actually rub the product onto my finger like this and then go in and just tap it out. Tip of the nose. Some people don't like the nose highlight. I like it. You don't have to do it if you don't like it. And then a little bit on the chin. Cupid's bow. Now, I just like the sheen that that gives. It looks so beautiful. If you feel like things aren't well blended, you can just go back in a little bit with your beauty blender or your sponge and just tap everything in and kind of set things. Now for setting spray, I also like this Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Water. I like the, sh um, the scent rose. They have cucumber and coconut. I actually didn't like the coconut one. It was too artificial for me. Um, and I love coconut smells, but I really like this rose one. Go in and spray everything down. I feel like this locks in my makeup a little bit more, so and also meshes any of the powders that we used. All right, 
So that is my favorite cream products. And let me just go finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the completed look. Um, I just added the rest of my eye makeup, but I really wanted you guys to see what this looks like with a full face of makeup. Um, I just think it looks so healthy and glowy. Um, like I said, I really love these products because even though they're cream, I mean, you know, I can't feel the blush at all. I feel like it's set, it's ready. It will stay throughout a whole work day. It'll stay if you have a full day at the hospital or clinic or wherever you work. Um, I feel like it will really just hold on and you won't have to worry about it slipping and sliding everywhere. So um, I hope you like this video. Um, I'm about to start an inpatient rotation next week. And so I am going to try and do like a night shift routine or what I pack in my lunchbox, things like that. Good healthy ideas for people who work in the hospital or even just as working moms. So give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, ring the bell so that you guys are notified whenever I post and I'll catch you next time. Bye.